Hi, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate about Lean FT, how it can be integrated with the Microsoft Visual Studio with the C Sharp script. All right. As you know, uh, Lean FT is come from uh, HP. It, currently, it's part of uh, HP FT in the version of uh, uh, FT 12.5.0 onwards. It's a, a very good, powerful tool. It can be integrated with uh, Eclipse as well as Visual Studio IDEs. HP has designed this tool to overcome uh, limitations of HP EFT has because uh, it is not as same as uh, Selenium. Well, Selenium provides uh, object-oriented programming language to create your scripts. So HP EFT doesn't. So to overcome that issue, uh, HP has come up with a Lean FT. It's a powerful solution where we can directly integrate with the Lean FT on uh, Microsoft Visual Studio as well as Eclipse. Well, as you see in the screen, uh, it's a Visual Studio um, 2012 version, which uh, I have integrated with um, Lean FT. If you see here, uh, I have inst installed uh, Lean FT standalone version. So um, by default, during the script, during the software installation, automatically it picks up the path of installation of Visual Studio, and uh, uh, and completes the installation. Yeah. So once you are done with the installation, uh, and you open Visual Studio, you can see the tab called uh, Lean FT available directly. So where under here, you have a lot of options available. Um, object identifier and in the tools password encoder and um, enable or disable lean ft and ether on dotnet sdk references so once you have done that uh, installation uh, and opening visual studio uh, or here let me create a new uh, a new project with lean ft uh, for that we have to use a file a new and a project so it popped me up uh, various options available with Visual Studio. Uh, I have coded UI and various other stuffs. So I'm going to choose Lean FT MS uh, test project. I'm going to name it Lean FT test and create a Mercury Freight app automation script. So I'm going to say OK. And it displays a template test where you can have the namespace and few uh, the methods have been imported and uh, a test class and uh, initialization test installation method installation cleanup and uh, etc so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a script to create a browser in instance So I have to import a method. Uh, I'm going to right click on uh, the method that I have. It shows to resolve uh, by importing this. I'm going to import that so that you can see uh, the imported is uh, placed here. And the methods are enabled now. And then I'm going to use uh, launching a browser. And then the type of browser I'm going to choose is Firefox. Yeah. And I'm going to navigate uh, this browser to a particular URL. Uh, these two lines of code will try to initialize a Firefox browser and navigate to Mercury New Tools application. And once uh, let's say the browser is navigated to that screen so from this step I have uh, an option called um, object identification center it is as similar as object spy with a uh, HPFT so uh, uh, I have my object identification center open uh, when I spy on the objects if you see here is the option to spy you can see uh, after spying it there are a bunch of properties it displayed as I said, it's uh, as similar as object spy in uh, HP FT. So it's, uh, it has recommended as well also a few properties and uh, the values as well. So I'm going to choose XPath uh, because XPath is a powerful option to identify any object. So over here we have two buttons. Uh, one is to highlight the object and another one is to generate code to clipboard. So I'm going to click on highlight to cross check uh, whether the object captured properly. 
and it says like uh, matching objects found one so I'm fine I'm going to uh, copy this code and I'm going to paste it over here directly you can see here how we can easily write a code for this and uh, and later uh, it generates still the object we have captured and we have to perform the operations called maybe a set value and um, the value I'm going to set it for tester and uh, the next time I'm going to capture uh, password so I'm going to spy on that password field and uh, I'm going to choose xpath for that as well and I'm going to uh, highlight it to cross check it and copy it and paste it and here uh, I'm going to uh, use set secure value so that I can I'm going to make uh, my password encrypted so for that I have an option in the NFT and the tools password encoder or here I can uh, enter my password and click on generate so that uh, the encrypted value has been generated I'm going to copy it and pasting over here that's so simple right so, uh, to make the shorter video I have copied the code which I have done created earlier and pasted here so this code what it does um, it try to plug in uh, the tester user and as uh, you know there is no such tester user available in the system it is going to register and <clears throat> it is setting some values to here and you know, completing the registration so now uh, I'm done uh, creating with the scripts so when I save it uh, it provides an option to save it so let me save it in my local drive and uh, now uh, when I try to run uh, the run option is available in the test explorer or here as soon as I click on run uh, you can see in the, in the toolbar the bro is going to open first it will uh, serve compile the bill and uh, as soon as the bill is compiled it is for trying to execute the scripts uh, as quick as possible you can see and it is done with the script execution and uh, you can see in the script the test method got paused yeah i hope uh, this video is uh, short and scripty and might be useful for you thank you thank you so much